In this video, guys, we're going to take a look at applying the Python script to uh, work around log4j, also known as log4shell or log4ram. Um, it's uh, VMSA-2021-0028. Um, it also falls under CVE-2021-44228. Uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to VMware's webpage. And I'll put this link in the comment section of the page so you can follow the video so you can find it. And we need to download this Python script here. I've already downloaded it. This video assumes you have PuTTY and WinSCP installed already. So the first thing we need to do is open up WinSCP. And I've already got my settings here, but let me show you how I what I have set up and configured. So click the edit button, click the advanced button, and you need to go to SFTP. You wanna make sure you uncheck this allow SCP fallback button, and then you wanna put this path in shell space forward slash USR forward slash libexec forward slash SFTP dash server. And then we're gonna click okay. We're gonna save it. We're gonna hit log in. We're going to put our password in. And we're in the temp directory uh, forward slash TMP forward slash. Uh, normally it would log you into the, I think it's the root directory there at, where it takes you in. Uh, but you want to go up one and be make sure you're in the temp directory. You want to navigate to your downloads folder in your left hand column here and find your Python script and drag that over. Make sure it's uploaded. There we go. Next step is to open up PuTTY. And we're going to go to our vCenter server. We're going to log in. Before we can run our Python script, we have to issue the command shell.set dash dash enabled true. Then we have to get into the shell. So now we're now we can run. Um, I, I will run it with sudo python forward slash tmp forward slash vmsa. And then the tab key is your friend here. Let me make this a little bigger so you guys can see it. Hit enter. It's going to prompt you, um, you know, that it's going to help you help automate the steps described in the KB. And do you want to continue? You can type in yes. And it's going to run through its uh, backup and then remediation. Now, this does take a little while, so we'll come back when it's all done. Uh, before you start this, you may want to take a snapshot. It's just good practice to get into the habit of doing. Um, I've already taken a snapshot of this VM, and uh, you know I can roll back if need be. You can see the script has finished running, and it's remediated um, the services. And you have completed remediation for log4j.